Congratulations to the Vintage community for completing the second week of the 2022 CrossFit Open. This week you got to experience a ton of deadlift and bar facing burpees and we hope everyone is feeling somewhat recovered by this point. Uh, proud of your efforts, hope you are also. Um, thank you to the Time Captains team for sponsoring the uh, Friday night after party. Uh, check the link at the top of the screen for the full live broadcast of all the workout heats if you haven't checked that out. Um, we had some fun and games after the uh, open workout completed. We had our first vintage spelling bee, uh, cup stacking challenge, and some other fun activities. You can look forward to more of that coming next week. Uh, thank you to all the judges. Can't uh, put on the Friday night events without having everyone uh, being open to volunteering and judging. So thank you so much to everyone who came out to judge. And with no further ado, check out these highlights and interviews following week two of the CrossFit Open. I just finished 22.2. It was gassy. It was a good, fun 10 minutes. It was hard, but I was proud of myself that I, I thought I did a really good job maintaining technique on those high volume deadlifts, which is something that's not my strength. After week one and week two of the Open this year, I really like that it's focusing on like general fitness and there's not a ton of high skill movements. It really just lets you focus on you know, how you're feeling, um, how you've developed as an athlete. You don't have to worry so much about the thinking movements. Week three is definitely gonna be 17.5, which is the 10 rounds of nine thrusters and 35 double unders, guarantee. After 22.2, .2, I am feeling like I need to roll out my low back a lot. That was 
really hard, a lot harder than 22.1. Um, between the open this week and last week, I feel like um, they're very approachable workouts for anyone that's doing CrossFit, so I really like that, um, especially coming back from an ACL surgery. I was really scared that I wouldn't even be able to participate in the open with RX version. Um, but last week was a lot more approachable for me. <laughs> this week was a lot harder with the high reps with the heavy barbell, or heavy-ish barbell, should I say. I will not be redoing 22.2. Um, typically in an open in general, I like to do the workouts twice, but this year I'm just excited to be participating in the open after not being able to participate at all last year. My prediction for the final week of the open will be some double unders um, and maybe some type of barbell ladder. My name is Sarah McDavid and I've been doing CrossFit for seven years. I've done the CrossFit open six times. It's different doing the open this year because I'm six months pregnant. My approach and mindset this year has been more about moving and making sure that all of my approaches are built around technique and making sure that I'm doing the right thing for my body right now rather than performance. I think in the past I've been very much focused on trying to make sure that I'm doing the workouts to RX standards and maybe going for my first muscle up, but this year I'm just making sure that I'm moving and moving well. 22.1 was an interesting experience for me because I had to completely alter the way I was doing wall walks. So rather than a wall walk, I did um, a pike walk from a box, but the dumbbell snatches were a little bit easier and I was able to do that from a hang. So that one felt really good. Yesterday I was actually able to do 22.2 to the full scaled standards by dropping to my knees for burpees and doing a chest push up to ensure that I was fully meeting the standards. So a little bit of a change doing sumo deadlifts, but overall a really good workout. My name is Matt McDavid and I've been doing CrossFit, I think for about nine or 10 years. Yeah, so I just finished 22.2, two minute mark. Oh, it felt good. I thought I was gonna finish the workout. Um, then it starts getting a little spicy. About halfway through, that's when you're in those rounds of uh, eight and nine, and then it really slows down at that point. Um, then before you know it, you're back down to two minutes left, and you're still kind of on the back side working through that. Um, yeah, so it's around 10, nine and 10, that's where it starts sticking. Uh, my predictions for next week, it's gonna be something with gymnastics, um, probably ring muscle ups or bar muscle ups something like that, um, maybe something heavier, like a heavier clean or find a heavy something at the end. But yeah, some, probably something with gymnastics and hopefully it's a low number so everybody can attempt it or try to stay in it. Thanks, Matt.